uh, Russia did interfere in our elections. Did that failure to retaliate have anything to do with the message that General Flynn gave to Ambassador Kislyak? Well, um, uh, listen, uh, sanctions or issue of lifting sanctions or imposing sanctions, uh, any promises uh, could not be an issue of those uh, of those contacts, because none of them, uh, neither Ambassador Kislyak nor General Flynn, could have been involved in decision making. So any exchange of view, I don't know. Uh, naming sanctions. Let's remember. Let's remember the the let's say um, uh, the the uh, decisions that were taken by the the then administration during their last days in the White House. Uh, extradition of Russian diplomats, uh, I would even say occupation of Russian diplomatic property in New York and Washington. This is something that was never seen in, in, in diplomatic affairs in the world for, for lots and lots of decades. Let's imagine a property of the Russian Federation covered with diplomatic immunity was occupied by American Secret Service agents. I mean, well, is it friendly? I'm afraid no. I'm afraid not. And it's not friendly. It's not legal in terms of international law. So, of course, it was a very significant damage for our bilateral relations organized as a farewell party by the then administration in Washington. If we're at the lowest point in history, that means we're in a new Cold War. New Cold War? Well, uh, maybe even worse maybe even worse taking into account uh, actions of, of the present presidential administration worse than the cold war well of course of course uh, well uh, i've been uh, just saying about this uh, about this uh, illegal actions against russian property in washington and new york about extradicting russian diplomats and and, and all that stuff